So hello and welcome to a completely unrehearsed and very raw retro core. And that's because this beauty has just been released. This is a lost Mega Drive game. Should have been released way back in the late 80s or maybe the very, very early 90s, but it didn't. It was unreleased. But now thanks to Columbus Circus, it has been released. Or is that Columbus Circle? I always got those mixed up. Anyway, it's now being released. This is Mad Stalker. It appeared on many Japanese computers, such as the X68000, I believe, and the FM Towns, and now it's available on the Sega Mega Drive. Okay, so join me in this unboxing. This has never been opened, so I'm looking forward to this. Now, hopefully, it's going to have a beveled cartridge edge. The previous releases from uh, Columbus Circle were not the best with really dodgy uh, instruction manuals and so on. Okay, well, first thing, the box. Yeah, it's reasonable, feels nice. All right, let's open it up. If we can, oh, it's a stiffy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, first thing, the cartridge. Let's take a look at that first. All right, bad news. It's not a beveled edge. Why do they go for these cheap cartridges? They're not beveled at all. That's gonna damage your uh, cartridge ports if you keep shoving it in and out without care. Okay, the cartridge itself has got a lovely gloss sticker on there. Looks really nice. Okay, and yeah, it's the same cartridge that they released, um, what was it, Glay Lancer in. It's semi-transparent, so it's a translucent black, I should say. All right, let's hope the manual is better quality than um, the Glaylancer manual they put out. That was awful. All right, well, it's printed on decent paper and color seems good. Let's have a smell. Yep, yeah, smells like a brand new printed manual, I should expect. All right, okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good, I guess. Yeah. It's on a reasonable paper, not too bad. Screenshots are good. Yeah, I think this is uh, put together better than the uh, Glaylancer manual they did. That was all blurry and it just looked really amateurish. But uh, yeah, this one looks uh, much better. All right. Okay, well, there you go. That's that. Is it a reversible cover? I don't think it is. No, it's just a standard cover. All right. So what we've got to do is we've got to put this into the Mega Drive and see what it's like. I'm really looking forward to some quality FM Mega Drive tunes. I hope this is gonna be a good one. By the way, it was originally by Tonkin House, I believe. Let me just see what that says on there. So the Opera House, not Tonkin House. Tonkin House made different games. Originally by Opera House, and it has the new logo on there as well. So that's good. It has the original blessing from the original developer. Cool stuff. Family Soft as well. Family Soft, if you didn't know, uh, very famous for the um, As Asuka 120% uh, Burning Fest games. All right, let's plunk this into the Mega Drive and check it out. All right, so we do have the scan line switched on. All right, let's turn this up a little bit so you can hear it. Got some nice stereo sound there, guys. Unfortunately, you're listening to this in mono because I'm using the lavalier mic. Uh, zoom the camera out a bit there. It looks like we're missing the top of the image. Okay. Hope 
options. All right, it's a quick listen to the music. Yeah, not bad. Some classic Mega Drive FM synth. All right, let's get into the game. All right, so we've got a Converse. I think that's gonna be the one-on-one -on -one battle mode, isn't it? But we'll go straight to the normal game first. Wow, that's a pretty large sprite. Oh, okay, push up to jump. It's been a while since I played this game. There we go. So you do like a fireball motion to do uh, the gun. And you can dragon punch as well. There we go. Watch this, dragon punch. Oops. Oh, got that stuck on me. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> Slow down there. I've got to say though, for having a couple of big sprites on screen, that's um, it's doing well without the sprite flicker, isn't it? Should have had the manual to figure out what the moves are. Last one's dead. Go on. Mechanical rabbit bastard. Oh, what? Need that life. How do I get the life? Just kick it. Ah, right. That's, that's uh, push forward twice and attack. All oh, right. Okay. That would have been handy for those rabbit things. Alright, so you got the A button is punch and C button is the same and the B button is the uh, swipe attack but dashing and pressing any button will uh, do this attack here, see? How the hell do I do the dragon punch? <laughs> nope. Of course there, yeah, I am liking the music in it. It's pretty nice. It takes me way back to my childhood. I 
can't do it. The dash now. I wonder if you need that. I wonder if there's a dash button. I just didn't notice it. Oh, I just noticed we got a block too. Hold an A and B blocks. Yeah, watch this. See? Didn't notice that. We got a block. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I should remember, I played this a lot back on the uh, old Japanese computers. There's me, Dad. Yep, game over. Okay, well, there you have it. That is Mad Stalker Full Metal Force. Uh, let's just take a quick look at this uh, Converse mode. There we go. We can choose uh, various different robots and stuff. There. I think I've got to put this on easy. I'm, I'm too old to be playing <laughs> on normal these days. But there we go. He's got a dash attack too. All right. So yeah, there you go. That's the game. I'm gonna. Um, Read the instruction manual and uh, try to figure out the moves for all the characters. And then uh, play it on easy <laughs> so I can get the hang of it. But um, yeah, if you're um, after a copy of this, you can buy from Amazon Japan. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description. Um, they will ship overseas. There's been a few people on a couple of the forums which have ordered it from Amazon Japan, and uh, yeah, they will ship it overseas to all countries. I don't know, but. Um, Anyway, link in the video description down below. It's always good to see a new Mega Drive game, especially one made by an official publisher that was thought to be lost forever. Alright, until next time guys, take it easy. See ya.